As an agent, you deal with a ton of emails from clients, underwriters, claims departments, and all sorts of people, right? Outlook provides a powerful platform that allows you to organize, prioritize, and respond to these emails effectively. Speaking of emails, let's talk about making a lasting impression with your email signature. Creating a simple email signature is a breeze. Just go to the settings, choose the signature tab, and start crafting your own signature. Here's the fun part though, you can actually have multiple email signatures for different purposes. Imagine having one signature for your everyday emails and another for those important client communications. Well, Outlook lets you install a branded email signatures. You can even insert different email signatures into different emails, ensuring that your message always looks professional and on brand. In fact, Here's an in-depth tutorial where I walk you through how to add an image and a logo into your email signature. Let's move on to one of the most helpful features of Outlook, the search function. Let's take a look at how you can use Outlook's search feature to specifically find emails quickly. The to colon name and from colon name are your best friends. Simply type in the name of the person you're looking for and Outlook will filter the inbox to show only relevant emails. It's a lifesaver when you need to locate that crucial message from a client or a colleague. So if you're having troubles finding a specific email, be sure to check your search settings in the top bar. Just click in the search bar on the left, a drop box will appear and you can choose all Outlook items or the specific folder that you wanna search through. To find emails specifically about Scooter's insurance policy, simply type the word Scooter's insurance policy in the search bar. You could use the double quote marks around Scooter's insurance policy to, to broaden your search. Or you can use the OR operator. For example, searching for Scooter's insurance policy OR insurance policy Scooter's will find emails with either phrase. Again, if you put the quotes around it, it's going to be very specific and only bring up what is exactly inside the quotes. So if you know exactly what it is, this is just a faster way to search for something that you specifically know what you're looking for. You can use subject colon, followed by the subject line of whatever the email is that you're looking for. If you remember the email being categorized under client, you could use the client category, followed by your search terms. For searching by date, you could use received colon today to find emails that you got that day. So there are lots of different ways that you can search by yesterday, this week, this month, all using that same technique. So play around with the different combinations to find the emails that you're looking for. All right, let's move on to another common task when emailing people, attaching documents and images to your emails. So this is where Outlook shines with its user-friendly interface. Let's explore some handy techniques to get your attachments just right. When attaching a document or an image, simply click on the Attach File button, locate your file, and voila, it's attached and ready to go. But if you're looking to include an image directly inside the body of the email, you can do that too. Just click on the Insert Picture icon, select your image, and it will seamlessly become a part of your message. You may need to resize by clicking the top left corner of the image hold down the mouse and drag it to the center at the same time. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of resources aimed at advancing insurance professionals just like you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Automated email workflows for handling clients.